Are you looking for a new one pan meal that's fuss free but flavorful? I've got you covered with this family favorite one pan chicken and potatoes. Hey everyone, it's Yumna from Feel Good Foodie. And as a mom, I struggle with dinner time decisions too. And I often find myself turning to this one pan chicken and potatoes recipe because it's simple to make and it has everyone's two favorite ingredients. The chicken comes out perfectly juicy, the potatoes are wonderfully tender, and the cleanup is surprisingly a breeze. I use a Middle Eastern marinade that I learned from my dad and it just gives this dish the best flavor. I just know you're gonna love it. So let's get started. It looks like I've got a bunch of things going on here, but really it's just chicken, potatoes, and my special marinade. So let's get started by mixing the marinade. I'm gonna use a fourth of a cup of olive oil, fourth of a cup of lemon juice, a teaspoon of seven spice, which is a blend made up with seven popular Middle Eastern spices. I have a recipe for this on my blog so you guys can check it out on how to make your own seven spice if you can't find it. We're also gonna add a teaspoon of paprika, a very messy teaspoon of paprika. Let's clean up a little bit here before we add the other ingredients. Now we're gonna add two teaspoons of salt and a teaspoon of black pepper. Now the final part of the marinade is garlic, lots of garlic. I'm using six cloves of garlic. Feel free to make that 12 if you want, which is what my dad does. I'm gonna use a garlic press just so it blends really well with the sauce. All right, now we're just gonna whisk it all together. Before we add the marinade to the chicken, it's really important to make sure that the chicken is dry. So removing that excess moisture is gonna help the chicken really crisp up and make sure it doesn't steam in the oven. We want it to roast and crisp up and not steam. I have some paper towels and just gonna pat it dry. This is the non-fun part of the recipe, but it's very important, you guys. And you'll notice that I'm using skin on chicken thighs and drumsticks. You can make this recipe with chicken breast and you can make it with just bone-in chicken breast as well. Um, various, you know, different kinds of chicken. So the timing will differ a little bit, but my preference is to use chicken thighs and drumsticks because it has the most flavor, it has that extra fat, and the skin just gets nice and crispy and just makes it extra juicy. Also, it's important to know that the skin on the chicken actually helps it from drying out too much. So if you ever experience dry chicken when you oven bake it, keep the skin on. I promise you it'll be more juicy. And time for the marinade. I have just some baby potatoes and I quartered these to make sure that they cook evenly and quickly. So I'll add these to the pan. All right, now it's time to use our hands to coat the chicken and the potatoes with that wonderful marinade. And you guys might be tempted to skip this part, but honestly, using your hands is just the best way to do it. You can use a spoon, but when you use your hands, it just makes sure that that marinade gets coated on every single piece of potato and underneath the skin of the chicken, and just all over, which is kind of hard to do with a spoon. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands, stick this in the oven at 400 degrees for 55 to 60 minutes. And then what happens is at that point, you can check on the chicken, make sure the internal temperature is 165, and then you can broil it for an extra couple minutes just to make sure that the skin is nice and crispy. All right, just came out of the oven and it looks so good. At this point, it's really important to let the chicken rest for at least five minutes before you cut into it because letting the chicken rest is gonna help all that juice redistribute and it just ends up making it more flavorful and more juicy but I like to take a little bit of the pan sauce and just drizzle it all over the chicken just to make sure that it gets extra juicy. And it's looking so good, you guys, and I know Video Mad is like, can I have some already? Can I have some already? So it's been five to 10 minutes, it's been resting, and we're ready to dig in. So let's go ahead and serve some for Video Matt and see what he thinks of the recipe. His fingers are dirty, but he's giving like a, like. All right, and I'm gonna serve some for myself and I wanna show you guys how juicy it is. So wait until I cut into this. It looks so good, you guys. I'm gonna add some potatoes for myself because honestly, those potatoes get so tender and they take all the fat and all the flavor from the chicken. So it's just the perfect way to cook the potatoes whenever you're having chicken. So I served some for myself. It's all mine, ready to taste it. So good. 